So there's a little weird twist there where the Republicans in Congress have said that either Japan has to get rid of all of its tariffs on agriculture products or it should be thrown out of the agreement. In a weird way, it's not clear to me that the Republicans taking over makes it actually easier for Obama to make that deal given they're the ones who've been particularly harsh about that issue. But there is this big negotiation coming up in China in a week. And this was supposed to be the deadline to finish TPP, which, with any luck and a lot of citizen activism in all the countries, is not going to happen again. And you actually make the point, uh, Laurie Wallach, that even the fast track is not likely to go uh, uh, any quicker through Congress as a result of this uh, Republican win. Could you explain why, why that is? So a lot of people who might read the mainstream media have seen all these stories saying, oh, the thing that's going to happen really quickly is Congress is going to delegate its trade authority, its constitutional exclusive control over trade to the president through this old Nixon era, very extreme procedure, rarely used, called fast track. And that's a procedure that basically gives Congress's authority over trade to the president. Congress ends up handcuffed. And an agreement gets negotiated, signed, before the Congress ever approves it. And then the president gets to write legislation. It's not subject to committee amendment. And it gets a guaranteed 90-day vote with no amendments. Couldn't we wish that we had that kind of procedure for legislation we like? So that procedure has only been used 16 times in the history of the country, but it was used for NAFTA and the World Trade Organization. Congress, for this whole Congress, the president's been trying to extract that from Congress, that extreme authority, and Congress has said no. So the big question now in the big PR campaign by the corporations is, oh, with the Republicans, it'll be a snap. The reality is, actually, the fight over this is in the House of Representatives, and there are plenty of conservative Tea Party members of Congress who, number one, think this violates the Constitution. It does break some of the most important checks and balances. It lets the executive branch diplomatically legislate. But in addition, it's kind of hard for the Republicans to voluntarily delegate more authority to the guy they've been attacking as the imperial president who grabs power that's not his. So the fact of the matter is that if we all do our work, starting now, it's going to be really rough between now and August, when Congress goes into August recess. There's a very dangerous window where, for sure, McConnell and Boehner and Obama are going to want to play footsie on fast track. But the math doesn't really change enough in the House if we do our work that we can't save ourselves from it. And that's the reality underneath all the corporate hype.